What's up, Lowrider family? Welcome back to another episode with Lolos and more. Now, today uh, we are going to extend some A arms and going to build some lower A arms. Um, these A arms right here came off of a, a Caprice. Not sure what year. I'm not good with the years on all these cars. Um, but what I'm going to do is pretty much the same process. For any arm that you want to extend, it all depends on how much you want to extend it by. Um, some people do it a different way, but I do it this way. So, I'll just show you how I do it. Um, and for building lower A-arms, this is why I got this piece of pipe right here. A solid piece of pipe. Um, we're going to cut a big hole. Put some of this pipe in there. That way we can get close to fitting a whole stack of a coil spring in the car. This one right here belongs to that green Regal that I worked on before, the homeboy, Amador. Um, and as we cut them and put the big piece of pipe in here, we're gonna reinforce the bottom. And then we're gonna come up and then the reinforcement's gonna come up to here. So that's pretty much it, what we'll do on these lower arms, put in the pipe and reinforce the bottom. Um, going back to the uppers for any car, just remember that. Um, so these ones, let's see, when I built a Caprice for one of my club members, which I have him running my, you can say my Menville slash Salem chapter, uh, since I had to cut out a big hole for where a cylinder was going to sit, I ended up just putting a plate on top just to help it keep keep straight you know without anything going bad because it was it was it is a pretty big hole so that's why I kept this bridge back here to help it keep stabilized so since I welded this on these arms pretty good um, I'm gonna weld a plate on top of this after I extend them so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm not gonna take any of this off the power balls, or I mean the power balls, the ball joints, or the shaft here. I'm not going to take any of that off. Um, since it is going to be replaced anyways. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut this off right here for sure. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a cut like this right here. And then cut this off completely, pretty much the whole cut like that. And this will all be freed up. And then I'm going to make a cut right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... I'm going to cut some flat bar that's about an inch and a half because I'm going to extend these by an inch and a quarter. So I'm, those plates I'm about to cut out, I'm going to weld them back here. Right there. So let me get to that part before we go any further. All right. So um, this is my way of doing the upper arms. People have their own way. They'll usually cut straight in the middle of the whole thing or they'll cut out just this piece right here they'll keep this piece and just throw away the rest and create their own so it's all up to you of how you guys want to do it follow my way if don't no worries this is how i do it everybody has their own way just remember that let me get cutting all that and i'm uh, before i do all that let me organize this crap so We'll be right back. Oh, and one thing before I do all this stuff. Um, I recently opened up a P.O. box. Um, if you guys want to send me stickers or whatever, I'm going to sticker bomb my toolboxes. That one and that one over there. Then I even sticker bomb my little storage thing right there. So um, if you guys want to send me stickers, send it to this P.O. box right here. And... Uh, um, each time I get some new on the following video, I'll post it, uh, opening it up or 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 slapping it on the toolbox if it's a sticker. All right, send me whatever you guys want to send me. If you guys got old stuff you guys don't want to use or don't want to bother selling, just send it, send it to that peel box. You know, I can I can probably put it to good use. Stickers or whatever you guys want to send me, send it to that peel box right there. All right, let me uh, get started my mess. Okay guys, I figured I'd add in this video um, 
some tips I guess uh, so let me show you guys real quick some of you have asked how do you run the hoses so I'm gonna show you real quick on my truck how I ran mine um, this is someone's wheel that I resealed for them uh, a subscribers wheel actually that lives like 40 minutes away redid the seal so if you guys are if you guys live by you guys want me to redo your seal I do it 30 bucks if it leaks I do it for free to fix of course because it's my deal that it doesn't seal the first time but let me, let me let's get to it my setup I need to clean it see how my setup looks versus how I do it for other people other people do it clean, tuck the wires and stuff like that, and my still looks like this. Well, because I'm getting paid to do theirs, so I'm not paying myself to do my own stuff. So that's why my still looks like crap. But here, let's see. So on my truck, here, let me let me uh, turn on the light real quick. Let's see. Okay. So on my truck. I run mine on the outside of the frame right here goes up in up into the uh, engine bay from right there and it goes straight to the cylinder um, I, just, it just, I just run it back above the uh, the body mount right here this is the body mount right here it runs in between the body the chassis or whatever in the frame keeps running back over another body mount and it goes straight and then I drill holes in the back of my uh, the bed of the truck and it goes straight into the bed area to the pump so that's one way of doing it um, uh, I think I mentioned it when I was doing it for the white Cadillac there was no space to run it on the outside so what I did, from right behind the wheel, right here, into the frame, I ran the hose into the frame. There's a hole there. Ran it in the frame. And it just, and then the frame, I think, opened up around this area about a, a foot and a half from uh, from the first body mount on the caddy. And then you can see it, and you can just zip tie it to the frame on the inside. Um, it's not that hard, just pretty much don't run the hose anywhere near the exhaust don't run the hose anywhere near the uh, the dry shaft keep it away from exhaust and dry shaft just do it on do it here on the frame and if you have to use these clamps right here it's uh i don't i don't remember why i put those zip ties there but but this right here, this rubber clamp, it's held in together by a screw that I screwed onto the frame. And I used the rubber one just so it doesn't eat up the hose. So you can get away with just using zip ties. You can drill two holes and then a zip tie or do it this way. One of these clamps and one screw holds it in together and, and the hose won't fall out. But I think I put the zip ties in just so that the hose wouldn't sag so it helps keep it in keep it up I think that's why I use the zip ties so just pretty much run it easy and my stuff still looks like crap oh well I go hard on it on, on the summertime so oh well so let me get my ass up All those batteries are dead. I try to revive them. They're bad. My sets of wheels and my extra. I got more wheels on my sister's place that I still need to bring over. So I still need to redo my roof rack on uh, my roof rack, my roof patterns, so that it matches well with my two new patterns that I did myself. I still need to wash it. Never washed it before I t tossed it in the garage. But oh well. Um, another thing that someone asked about installing is how do the rear cylinders get installed? So 
I'm gonna run to the garage real quick and I'll show you how the rear cylinders are installed. Um, I'm not gonna show you physically, but I'll pull a cylinder out, put it together, and I'll let you guys know. All right. Get yourself one of them stickers, people. Thank you to everybody buying them so far. All right, see you guys here in a bit in the other garage. Okay. So we're back at the garage and uh, someone asked me how are the cylinders mounted in the car. So I figured I'd just show you guys real quick. I know a lot of you already know how they're mounted in the car, but a lot of people don't know. So I figured I'd just show it here. So the way I have this one set up right now, I know it's a long cylinder, but this is just for demonstration. So this is how you'll have your cylinders mounted set up for your rear you'll have your power bowl uh, mounted here you'll have the cup and the ball mounted here make sure you guys put the cup over the cylinder and then mount the ball that way when you slip these in the rear you'll just screw on the cup onto the main power ball base and you'll have a shorter spring not a long spring um, to those that ask how can you actually lower the car in the back well that you can keep cutting your cell your your uh, coil springs to lower your rear that's how you lower your car for those that don't know you lower you cut your front or your rear springs to make your car sit lower um, you can do other things too so but this is one of them so this is how you have your rear set up just like this for your front setup you will actually so this, okay before we before I take it off this is a coil over setup so this will what will go in the rear okay now for the front it goes try to do it one here oh come on let me put let me put this down be right back all right and this right here is what we have is called a coil under setup because a coil spring is under the cylinder so what you'll do once you have your coal your hole your coal your hole cut in your in the front on your frame you'll slip the cylinder in um but make sure you have your donut on what it'll do it'll sit on the coupling of the cylinder and this this uh donut is what keeps your cylinder from popping out of your um frame so make sure you have your donut then you got your cup up front i recommend you guys running a deep cup not these shallow cups but there would be for for mounting this to the cylinder there would be a, a bolt right here holding this cup to the cylinder and then you have your spring any size it can be short or long whatever you guys want to fit in your cars um, uh, I mean, I, I always recommend running deep cups, but if you have, if you have like a short spring in the front, then I guess this is okay for you, but I always recommend deep cups no matter what, because this way these won't fall out. And, uh, when installing your cups, make sure you use blue thread lock, that way that bolt in here won't ever fall out and if for some reason one day you get switch happy you want to hop it it won't let your cylinder and the cup come away from each other or detach from each other and then you'll have a, a not a messy situation but you'll have to take your car apart let the cylinder sit back in the hole that sits that has on the cup right there so that's how it is this is how it sits in the front. Um, some people do also do it this way in the rear of the cars, but I don't recommend it. Some people are like, yeah, I like the old school way. I want to do it this way, that way. Okay, I understand. But I recommend not doing it this way for the rear. Some people say, yeah, you can weld it to the axle and this and that. True. But the thing is, you're just going to ruin your axle. You gotta weld it to that, weld it, the coil spring to the axle, and then you gotta have a, on top of that, you have, still have to have a, a deep cup holding the back of the, 
pulling the bottom of the spring and crap like that. I just recommend doing the coil over setup in the rear with power balls. Don't do it this way. S stay away from this way. So, yeah, that's how cylinder setups are in the cars. So, pretty much, drill your hole, shove it in. Same way, same way with the other way. The coil over. I know this spring is really long, but this will stick. This it'll stick out of the trunk about this much depending how big your spring is when you have a coilover set up okay so that's it and I think I'm about to do the outro on this video so okay guys um, once again it's late real quick uh, one of the homeboys came over and he needed help with uh, assembling his pump so uh, and also since it was getting pretty dark I went ahead and installed some LED lights in my parents garage because I couldn't see anymore with just the regular light bulbs um, so that took me a, a little bit to do today um, I was gonna go ahead and cut them cut the lower a arms to get them ready but uh, I'll just have to do that another day. It will be part of this video. Um, there will be a part two, but it won't be, you know, soon. I'll probably end up working on cars before I do part number two. But uh, this is what I got so far. So I, I cut them and I extended them. Um, let's see where you want to extend them is pretty much right at the back here let me get some I got some other a arms down here right here so so you guys can see what I'm talking about before I extended them okay let's see if you guys can tell you see how it's kind of flat right here up to my fingertip and then it curves right here well, see this is where I cut it we're still pretty flat right where it begins to curve I, uh, I cut it right there and then you, what you want to do is you want to gra grab some flat bar and extend it what I did was I welded the plates inside right here by how much I want to extend them for example these are inch and a quarter extended so these should give you a good Example because after I already cut it and then an extra plates already welded on it that was on there before But yeah, you want to cut it right here Right before it curves We're still kind of pretty flat add your extension there cut out this whole piece like I said earlier and uh, Make sure you cut this lip out too right here this part And then extend it so now after this process right here uh, grab some poster paper, some thick paper that you're gonna do. You can uh, use this stuff to make your templates. You're gonna want to make three templates um, a top, one side, and another side for, for both. You only got to make three templates because you'll be able to use the template for the other side as well. Um, when you're making your template, make sure your template comes out to here to the very end of the AR so it stays pretty strong these uh, ball joints I'm just gonna keep them on until I'm pretty close to welding in this area so I don't weld those on by accident so so yeah welded those are just tacked on right there they're not welded in so but when you make your uh, template for the, for the sides you're gonna want to go from the end all the way to over up and over this uh, the place where you put the new bushings in right here up to right here there has people that make them that go all the way around and over it's totally up to you on my truck I only go up to like right here and it's kind of curved on my truck arms that I built it's just kind of curved and then so on and so forth 
but on these I'm gonna go up to back here so I haven't had any issues with mine mine is still hella strong so this is how I built mine so just to give you guys a heads up remember you guys don't have to do it the way I'm doing it so yeah but yeah hoping I'm a homeboy and installing those lights took pretty much all of my day I did have to take care of something else as well oh, man I hate doing these short videos for you guys but I mean hopefully you guys understand I mean I don't I don't do this full time I don't this is I do this on the weekend I work five days a week and then on my weekend I'm working again so it's like not having days off so sorry for for the small video um, so so yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. If not, I don't blame you. Um, but yeah, don't forget to support Lolo's and more. Get some stickers, people. Uh, there has been people who keep buying the stickers, so thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, just in case you guys want to know the tools I use while I'm working on these, on these videos or whatever, um, I'll post them down in the description below. I'll post the, uh, the tools that I use there. Um, I'll even post what I, you know, even my welder that I use. So, um, if you guys need them, there they are in the description below. So, don't forget, I got I got the PO box, like I said earlier. You guys can send me stuff there, and I'll post it, and I'll put it on my toolboxes there, here. I'll even stick or bomb that thing over there so uh just send it there and i'll check the mailbox every now and then all right everybody peace